guys welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before today's video i am going to try and do a so, look i'm feeling really festive um i got my p louise uh christmas budget box today and i got the most adorable little green palette this is the out of packaging and i just think it was really cute i'm just going to take the plastic out so that's the palette i think she's adorable and if you know me on this channel or my instagram i love green it's like my favorite thing so i was feeling really festive and i thought why not because i got some like new christmas goodies in this one like a couple little bits and i thought why not do like a christmasy style look um, I also have a heatless hair coiler in, uh, which I got. I've ordered another one, because um, this is the small one, I've ordered a big one. And you'll see how my hair is at the end. Um, I'll try to put the brand's name here, and I'll probably put it at the end as well. But yeah, I'm going to do a green look, something really festive, but still like a little bit glamorous. Um, so if that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep on watching. Right, so I want to show you the box again because I feel like I just kind of brushed the box because like the detail on it is beautiful. So this is the budget box. It's got this lovely like gingerbread and snowflakes on the side and it's so pretty. I just think like, I gotta give them credit. They are amazing with their packaging. I always feel really bad though because I used to be like a proper like packaging holder. I used to keep everything like the boxes stuff came in, the little card what came and stuff. And I just don't have room. I really don't have room to keep everything. Um, so now as soon as the parcels come, I try and get rid of the like packaging as soon as possible, like the plastic out of it and stuff and try and recycle everything as quick as possible. But yeah. Anyway, back in with the video. Um, so I've just put some lip balm on. Um, it's the P. Louise. This is it. P. Louise, like, balm. It's like a lip conditioner, I believe she called it. Protects, hydrates and restores lip conditioner. It's a gingerbread kisses flavour. Kind of smell. I really like it though. I'm going to be using that over Christmas. It is really hydrating. I really do enjoy it. I've done my eyebrows off camera um, I pretty much use the same thing every time uh, the P. Louise eyebrow balm and the Wonder Whip Pink Honey uh, pomade in dark brown and we're going to go in with this little palette this is the Under the Mistletoe palette Under the Mistletoe they're beautiful it's in like a tape recorder kind of style this is the back and I think the detail on it is so beautiful. Uh, the mirror is dead weird in these packaging uh, because it's like kind of cut out and see through, but it doesn't really fuss me. I don't normally use the mirrors in palettes that often. And I do really love the colors in it. That top row is stunning. I love it. I think it's a really cute Christmas palette to be honest, you know. Santa vibes, my mirror is day. Also, I got a mirror, finally. I've been like wanting to get a mirror. Um, I got it in the Black Friday sale. It's the Made by Mitchell one. And I love it, it's so nice, it's really sturdy. Um, I've already dropped it like five times because I'm clumsy as that. Um, but oh well, so. I'm gonna go first in with a little small brush. Um, really defined. Um, I'm also gonna zoom you in actually. I have got the P. Louise base on in sheet two and I do use like a concealer brush uh, to pack it on and pat it um, but I also do blend it out with a Morphe 441 brush and um, I think this does really help because I used to have problems with it creasing a lot and I do think the brush does help a lot with stopping that okay so I'm gonna go in with this little brush it it's a Morphe 508 brush and I'm gonna go in with this first color brace. I will put them, the names of the shades below. Um, sometimes I can't always read them. I just think it's easier. And also, sometimes people don't understand what the hell I'm saying. So, I'm in with this darkest color here first. 
I'm gonna go for more of a simple look. So I'm just gonna draw the shape I want. I always really enjoy the quality of P. Louise um, eyeshadows. I own a couple of their small palettes. I've recently got um, one of their bigger palettes. Um, all I see is signs. And I've actually just got their um, recent palette. Um, the only issue though is I was gonna do a video on it of some of the Black Friday collection. Um, but I heard that it's not gonna be sold for long. So I was like, I don't want to show you something that you're not even going to be able to get. I think the palette's really beautiful, the new one they've come out with though. The one I've just shown you. And she's not even going to keep it. I'm a bit confused. I really have to start saying on here to trust the process. Because I've washed some of these back and I've looked at my makeup like whilst doing it. I think, oh god, she's looking a bit... A bit of summit, so I'm gonna go in with a made by Mitchell brush in MC11. I'm gonna move up the color to this one, which is Butterflies, and I'm just gonna take this color and just buff it above and then slightly over. giving me cat out my swamp vibes but I love it trust the process trust the process now we're gonna go in with a, another made by Mitchell's brush which is MC 10 this is what it looks like I'm gonna go in with this beautiful green and I'm just gonna take that above everything like tell me they do not blend seamlessly with each other it's beautiful honestly their formulas are so good i used to not really trust the hype because i really could not get along with the last hype item which was the Made by Mitchell P. Louise Acid Rain Collection Blank Canvas. I could not get on with that. I tried it many times. I bought it twice. I thought I got a dud. And I don't know, it just didn't work for me. It cracked. I must have been using it wrong. I watched a thousand tutorials. It just didn't work for me. I did buy their new formula, their paints. Perfect, not the same. I did like how they dried. The other acid rain ones are beautiful, but for some reason the blank canvas didn't work for me. And also it was a little bit orange for me, so not too mad, but everyone was so in love with it. And I was like, why is it not working for me? So I didn't really trust the hype on the palettes. So I never bought any. And I'm really disappointed with myself because I actually really enjoy the palette. I'm gonna go back down a shade. Uh, so taking the previous colour again, the butterflies colour. I'm just going to go back and bring back the colour a little bit. Going in with the Molly O'Brien brush, which is M012 brush, which looks like this, just a fluffy brush. And I'm going to go in with that Perfect Timings colour again, that the lightest shade we use, shade again. Just going in with this lightish colour again, and I'm just going to buff it up. I really just want to diffuse that colour as much as possible, bring it into that brow a little bit. I like to leave this a little bit with nothing, but I normally do bring my colours quite high at the front. You don't have to do this bit. I just really like the tone into my brow. And don't worry too much about the bottom. We're going to get rid of her. And then I'm just going to bring it that way. Now we're going to go in with the Cut Canvas product from P. Louise. 
Um, I was dead confused about this product because I thought it was going to be just like clean to be honest. I think it's a little bit thicker. It doesn't slide as easy. That's the only way I can explain it. Sure, your cookery is like quickish. So when I do a cookery, I normally use like a P. Louise brush, one of these ones, like flat ones. I also use a tiny piece of tissue, a baby wipe, and I use this a lot of the time to put the baby wipe on. You can also use a brush. I know some people use brush one. That's what I used to use. Or if you have acrylics, like um, if you have sharp acrylics, perfect. Be careful. So I'm just gonna put this. If you see what I mean, like with Vaseline, I can normally pull it quite far, and but with this, it seems to stay a little bit. You can still drag it; it just doesn't really drag as far, which is good because sometimes when you drag it, you can easily make a mistake. I sometimes just do half of my eye middle part first and then I can cut it partly and then kind of see if I need to bring it higher or lower when it comes to the tail so with the first part I try and get as much as possible off my lid and everything and then just keep moving it because you don't want the bit that you've already used on or you'll just be putting more back onto your face. Like, I think that's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna do my other eye real quick and then I'll be back. Um, I've just started going in with the paint in shade 0.5 on a um on one of the P. Louise brushes. The only difference with these paints I find is not to like drag them to create the shape and just kind of tap which can be a really long process but they don't, I don't know, I just find they don't crack as much. So that's then done, I'm just buffing the lightest colour just kind of free it all just in case any the concealer went anywhere else just kind of cover anything but yes I'm gonna take this little random brush I have the flat one and just go in with this beautiful green like that is stunning so beautiful I'm just gonna take that green on this and just gonna blend it off here for the highlight moment Oh, she's beautiful. Ooh, in my feelings, yes. Now I'm back looking like a beautiful glazed donut. We're gonna get in to the rest of the eye look. Interested in this kind of like glowy, dewy makeup kind of style. Um, I am actually really looking at doing a video on it. So if that's something you're interested in, please say down below. Um, because I'm never sure what people like to see and we're gonna carry on with the eye look I don't think I'm gonna do much on the top anymore and I'm just gonna kind of do like a smoky underneath and then we'll jazz it up a little bit so I'm gonna go back in with the first brush we used with the exact same colour that one right there, Embrace I believe it is I'm actually gonna tap some of the pigment off um, because I don't want it too, too much I have slightly set my under eyes um, with the Jaclyn Hill Illuminating Powder. This one right here in Do Me. Do, do, do me, do. Um, but not very much because I want this look to be a bit more of a dewy finish. Does anybody else get like a really bad itch where they need to itch it so bad that they can't because they know they're moving? 
So you just have to tap it with a sponge and hope that will really help. Accidentally dotted myself with powder. So I'm just gonna bring this out halfway. Um, because when I blend it out, I'm gonna blend it inwards. So I'm gonna go in pretty much with the same brushes. I'm gonna take the little one again and go into and take the little brush again and go into that butterflies colour. Just pretty much going in with the same brush as we did before and just blend it in. In with that first colour and just slightly bring it out. And then go back up to that butterflies colour and just kind of blend that. I've already said this, but I've had a minute to put my face on, so I've probably forgotten. But these do blend so perfectly together. I know they're pretty much the same family because they're green, um, but this bluish green. I actually really love it. Like, I am obsessed with it. It's really pretty. It's really nice, like almost a beautiful, like smoke out colour. Beautiful. I'm gonna go out in with the fluffy brush again, the slightly the bigger one than the last one. Go in with perfect timing again, this colour. Go back in with that and pretty much just make the whole thing out. Whole way in to the two duct area. Bring that all the way up. Go in with a Beauty Bay brush, which is BB210. I'm gonna go in with that green um, in my feelings. I'm gonna go in with that one on this brush. Not that these shades need it, but I'm gonna go in with a slight setting spray just to give it that pop. I'm also gonna take it on the first brush, what we used for that glitter shade. Um, to do the highlighter and I'm just going to tap it really softly just at the end just like for a slight shine nothing major just for bad behaviour we're going to go in with this goldy green colour which is fireworks I'm just going to take it on that fluffy brush and tap that here oh she's pretty oh my gosh here you can see that. I'm gonna do a little swatch for you. How stunning is she? All the glory. So I've got my lashes on and I've got the Dramatic Boutique lashes. Um, that's the little box they come in like that. It's so cute. Um, don't mind mine's a little dirty, but and that's the little container the lashes come in. These are in style Morgan. Uh, they're really beautiful. I think they're really like, they give me doll vibes, like a really cute like doll floaty vibes. Um, so they're the lashes. I'm not gonna put bottom lashes on um, just cause I'm trying to keep it more like subtle and more of a smoky like Christmas look. Show you what else I got in the Peel Louise box. So I showed you the little gingerbread lip conditioner um, and it actually came in this which is like a little tumbler straw that doesn't fall out and I think it's quite a good cup. I really like it. I'm going to be using it over Christmas. It's really cute. In the box as well it came with two brushes. One was like a little... So this is one of the brushes that came in the box, in the budget box which is 230. It's like a little uh, blending brush really cute really nice the other brush is more like a dense top brush um not something i've normally used um so i put it in a, a gift for someone for christmas but then we also got one of their new lip pencils the sharpened ones this is in speechless and we also got their lip drip which i believe is a new product they're coming out with and this is in cut in color honey bunny I think it's a really cute shade. It's like um, a gingerbread-y cookie colour. 
Um, so I'm going to go in with the lip liner first in Speechless. Um, I've never used their pencil ones before. I believe this is a new product. They did come out with them on, well, in the Black Friday sale and they look really pretty. But I didn't end up getting any. I believe they have a bundle on. I don't know how many you get, but I believe it's £30. I want to say you get seven. Um, I'll try and post a photo here of if it's like um how many you get and i'll link it down below if it's still up for sale but i believe it was 30 pounds i want to say it was seven or six by the way this is such a gorgeous color it's like a nice brownie orange almost oh i forgot to mention dramatic boutique i get pr from them oh my god I'm actually the first person to send me PR and also the only PR I get so please check them out Um, I'll put my code here for you uh, but yeah definitely check them out they're, I love the glosses they're like a glittery holographic gloss and I believe they have five styles of lashes these are the ones in Morgan Um, I am hoping to get another pair soon but yeah, definitely check them out. I'll link them down below. Um, so that's the lip liner in Speechless. I think it came out beautiful. I think it's a really beautiful colour. I think with a more nude look, this would look stunning. But, you know, don't care. I think it's cute with this look. Um, so now we're going to go in with the Honey Bunny colour uh, in the lip drip. I think this is like a gloss has no smell no no fragrance so we're going straight in i think they're similar yeah i think it's a really beautiful color i do really like the color i don't know if it's going with the green but she cute i like her and it's definitely a glossy moment i don't know it's kind of cute I think I'm actually going to keep this colour on. I kind of like it. It clashes a little, but I kind of like that it clashes. Is that weird? I'm going to wear it. Um, it doesn't feel too sticky. It's not like sticking together. You know, sometimes when you wear a glass and it's like you do that and it comes with it. Um, it's not doing that. It's really comfortable. Um, only complaint about the packaging is it doesn't want to fully shut properly. Like, I'm putting a lot of force to make it move. And I'm scared I'm going to break it. But it doesn't want to fully shut. Which is a little bit annoying. But, you know. Oh, so, well. this is the final look. I just added a couple red diamonds to kind of jazz it up a little bit for this season. And I'm just throwing on some of these big earrings. Um, just to make it look this speckly. Uh, but, yes. So, the palette. I love it. Would you guess in any different? I love it. I love the greens. You know me, I love greens. So I'm editing and I realized whilst editing that my camera cut off on the last bit. So I'm really sorry, but you're gonna have to look at this right now. Um, I just wanna say that the palette was beautiful. I had the effect here. So beautiful, blends like a dream. The colors are gorgeous. Such a pretty color story. If you love the color story, and you want like a little palette so you don't have to get like a big one then i do recommend this it's really nice it's so beautiful i love the shimmers in it i've literally slept on p louise palettes i'm really sad with myself so i'm really glad to add that to my collection the gloss beautiful we love a gloss with a heavy color like a nice pigment so i love that the colour is probably not for everyone, but I really like it. They do have some other colours, so definitely check out their website for their other colours. The lip liner, can't go wrong with a good lip liner. Perfect. So, yeah, I recommend them. Definitely check out their other stuff. If you're not a fan of the green palette, I know they do like a pure blue one for Christmas. So definitely check out the blue one, because it's like all different shades of blue and then like two little beautiful shimmers in it. So if green's not your style, definitely check that one out. And thank you for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.